projects, I hope to give you a general overview of the left Colorado scar and geology. This will entail technology willing to look under the subsurface with our 3D model and see where we've been drilling for the past five years and give you an idea of the deposit geology and the size. The La Colorado project is located in Zacatecas Mining District within the Mexican Silver Belt. The project lies 16 kilometers southeast of Chachuitas and 30 kilometers south southwest of San Brevete. Two historic mining camps with significant silver and base metal production from veins and associated scarn deposits. We are in the eastern flank of the Sierra Madre Mountains. On the left hand side of the slide, you'll see the general map, geology map, of the La Colorado mine, where Pan American mines silver rich polymetallic veins. You'll see on the map the Amelio vein and the NC2 vein, which are the most productive. The scarn footprint can be seen to the east or the right hand side of that plan with the labeling in red 901, 902, and 903. The scan sits roughly 800 meters below surface and covers an area over a strike length of 1.2 kilometers by 800 meters wide. What is a scan? A scan ore deposit forms when hot fluids from intrusive rocks, that's the rocks that come up from depth, um, are emplaced in carbonates or limestones. And these hot fluids create alteration minerals um, and with the formation of these minerals, in turn creates space or porosity. Later metal rich fluids come up and deposit within this area. So the scarn deposits are often found in the contact zones between these intrusive igneous rocks and the carbonate limestone. Importantly for the scarn is the formation of garnets. And specifically for La Colorado scarn, the formation of brown, brownish and greenish garnets. The difference in coloration indicates if you are close or far away from the heat source or the intrusive. Remember this as we will show how the mapping and logging of all of these garnets within the drilling has allowed us to understand and build the geological and alteration model for our scarn deposit. On the right hand side of the slide, you'll see a typical cross section looking north. The light pink unit is the volcanics, which is the host of our vein mine. The limestones in, the, in blue sit below this. The darker pink globs are the all important intrusives, which have brought up the hot mineral and metal fluids to, to create the garnet alteration, which you can see in the green and dark green here, and brown and thereafter the concentration of the sulfides which you can see in the red outlines labeled 901 902 and 903 here we see a long section of the whole deposit and geology resource the drilling geological and resource model have been completed to international standards we see in the subsequent slides in the 3d model the amount of drilling and geological confidence we have with 173.9 million tons in the indicated mineral resource classification and 103.6 million tons in the inferred mineral resource classification. The indicated resource classification has been restricted to well-informed mineralized units with drill spacing between 60 to 75 meters, while the inferred is within a 90 meters or less drill spacing. And here we have the same geological plan you saw in the first slide superimposed on the satellite image of the La Colorado mine. You can see on the to the east or the right hand side the um, access into the mine camp, uh, the tailings facility to the bottom of the image and we see the limestones outcropping on the west, the blue, and then into the middle and to the east the um, brown and pink uh, volcanics. Now, with the use of technology, we, are, we will move underground and view the basic geology as described. Limestones sitting below the volcanics, that light pink volcanics um, on the top and, and to surface where the veins are. And you can see, as I spin this round, the underground workings 
of, of the vein mine. If I peel away the dominant host rock unit, you'll see the main garnet alteration, that green and brown. And this has been modeled with the using 242,000 meters of drilling. I've included the NC2 and the Amelio veins for reference. And then, as mentioned, you can see that infrastructure for the La Colorada mine sitting up there with that light gray um, lines. And these are the uh, development levels. And we've got the 647 pump station sitting right at the bottom there. Again, you'll see the pink units of the intrusive, which has caused all that garnet alteration surrounding it and hence the subsequent mineralization events. By taking away the veins, you can clearly see now, even more so, the intrusive and the surrounding garnets um, of, the, of these intrusive, which has caused this alteration and subsequent mineralization. Now, this is what we've all been waiting for, the drilling. Performed mostly from surface, Pan American has used directional drilling, specifically Devico, for most of the program. You will note the mother holes from surface and the subsequent daughter holes drilled off in an array. The drill string traces have been color coded to assay results with a value per ton, red indicating a value over $80. You can clearly see the amount of drilling and the information on three distinct areas of value or sulfide concentration, which make up the 901, 902, and 903. We've been drilling the, drilling the scan since the initial discovery in 2018. To date, we've drilled over 280,000 meters, and the PEA resource is based on 242,000 meters. While the geological model was built earlier on in the year, the effective date of the resource is the 15th of December 2023. The technical, technical work to determine the mining method and the reasonably prospective for eventual economic extraction needed to be um, assessed, and that took, that, took, uh, that took the time. We expect to update the resource estimate for the SCARN to include this additional 40,000 meters into, into um, 2024. Since the middle of last year, we've been drilling an area of the 902 west and have been issuing news releases on the high-grade silver and polymetallic results. The most recent results were included in the exploration update news release dated December 5th. Here you will see exactly where those high-grade drill holes are located with results such as 97 meters at 654 grams a ton silver, 58 meters at 417 grams a ton silver, and 64 meters, 391 grams a ton silver. This now forms part of the 902 zone. However, some of the infill and expansionary drilling will be incorporated into the resource update in 2024. The current indicated mineral resource affected as of the 15th of December 2023 is 173.6 million tons, a 2.79% zinc, 1.32% lead, 33 grams of ton silver. The inferred mineral resource totals 103.6 million tons, a 2.47% zinc, 1.03% lead and 35 grams a ton silver. With that, I will hand you over to Martin Warthorn, who will then go into more details on the mining and PEA.